Hey guys, welcome back to Single Mom's Homestead. Don't mind the hairdo. I've been cleaning house today. But I wanted to get up this video for the virtual homeschool co-op. It's our summer tag. And we've got several questions that we're answering. Um, so let's get started. The first one is, do you have any school curriculum over the summer? Well, my kids left yesterday and they're going to be gone for six weeks. They're uh, having their summer visitation with their dad. So during that six weeks, I clean and get organized for the next school year. But when they come back, probably a week after they come back, we start school again. So we're just going to go right back into their curriculum and get started. Um, so we don't have a different summer curriculum. It's just the same curriculum. Which is Heart of Dakota. Yay! <laughs> Um, do you have a set date for the start and stop for, of summer? Um, that's the number two question and no, um, we don't. Usually, it depends on when the kids are going to their dads. We usually decide that, um, you know, a couple weeks beforehand. Um, my son's birthday is on June 6th and so we like some some summers my husband takes him for his birthday and some summers I have him for his birthday and this year I had him for his birthday and we went to Dollywood had a blast anyway um so we don't really have like a start date we usually fizzle out probably a week before they leave just because I want them to have a good time before they go to their dad's and then we usually start uh, like a week after they get back well I give them time to get back into mom's rules and all of that and then we start school again and um, is it the same each year yeah that's pretty much what happens every year third question do you have any traditions for the end of the school year it's not really a tradition it's more like um, something that we do for Cole's birthday. We usually try to do like a trip um, around Cole's birthday every year, uh, year because about three years ago I spent $500 on a birthday party for my daughter and it was right after we started homeschooling and nobody showed up and I was determined that from then on we don't do birthday parties we do trips we do either small trips or big trips but that's what we do for their birthdays they have sleepovers all the time so it's not that big of a deal to not have like a huge party to them because they have they don't have a lot of friends but they what friends they do have are very close friends so they're always over here or they're always at their friend's house uh, fourth question, do you keep a schedule during the summer? No, um, even when they come back, we our curriculum is laid out, so we basically what we do is we just go by the curriculum. And um, we usually try to get started around 11 o'clock in the morning, depending if I've worked and how easily we get out of bed. And... Um, then we usually go until four in the evening sometimes sometimes three it just depends um on how the day's going but as far as like a set schedule like we do math one time reading on one time we don't do that we we um try to mix it up so it's not so rigorous or boring not rigorous but boring okay so the next one is, um, are you going on vac vacation this summer? That's number six, uh, number five, sorry. And we did take a trip. We went to Dollywood for the weekend. They have this awesome um, little known fact that if you get there after three o'clock um, on the day that you arrive, 
you can go or you can go there and stay there and ride all the rides and such until the park closes at nine but then you get your next day free so you get to come back the next day and uh, do everything in the park again the next day so we did that we ended up it was so funny we started off for Nashville we were just going to go to the zoo for the day but it started raining and the kids were like well we really don't want to be at the zoo for the rain because they'll probably close so we're like okay so what can we do we're, keeping in mind we're already an hour away from the house we just decide we're going to Dollywood. No change of clothes, no nothing. <laughs> they had their bathing suits because we thought we might hit the water park in Nashville while we were there. But that was it. So we went to Dollywood. We arrived about six o'clock in the evening. And because I'm a single mom, we tend to do things the cheap way. So we went straight to the park, got our tickets, um, rode all the rides. It had been raining, so there was hardly anybody there. So we got on rides, got off rides, and it went really quickly. I mean, there was no wait times. Anyway, so um, after that, we left the park at 9 and went to CC's Pizza. Just It was like the cheapest place, and it was still open, which a lot of places weren't open. And then we got a, we got a hotel um, where the breakfast was free the next morning. So we did that to save on some money. And we went back to the park, spent the day. We ate, a, there's a place called Aunt Granny's Buffet. If you're ever at Dollywood, go to that buffet. It's It looks like it's expensive because it's like $16.99 for adults. And um, I think it's $12.99 for kids, which to me is expensive, but it's all you can eat. And it's, there's a lot of food and you also get cappuccinos. Oh, we were so excited because we were cold because it was raining off and on and we'd been uh, uh, riding the water rides and they brought us a cappuccino. Like once you get in there, it's like everything's paid for so you can get as much as you want to drink or eat or whatever. So we were excited because we got um, got the cappuccinos and uh, Cole could have had hot chocolate, but he didn't want it. And there was all kinds of food. So it actually turned out, in comparison to the other restaurants there, it actually turned out to be a really good deal. So then we, um, we played around for the, you know, and stayed until... We didn't stay um, all all day. We left about four or five. No, it was six because we had to get back home because I wasn't paying another night for a hotel. So anyway, that was our little small vacation because we we can't afford to go on big lavish vacations. So we just do small getaways. Okay, number six. Do you have any organized summer um, activities? we really don't um we try to just go you know swimming and uh, we have two cousins or my two two of my cousins have pools so we try to go swimming over there or there's a lot of state parks around where we live that have like fall creek falls and um and lakes and stuff like that that you can swim in we try to do that and hit some of the cheaper um things like the zoo and stuff like that during the summer when it's not too hot. I mean, it's incredibly hot right now, so we wouldn't do it like when it's this hot. It's like 95, 100 degrees here right now. Then, like in August, we usually do the indoor stuff like the big science museums and stuff like that. Um, do you have a, a summer reading list or specified reading time? While the kids are gone, I don't send books with them. I used to send books with them and they never came home <laughs> and they never read them. So I just let them have the six weeks to them to spend with their family, the ex's family. And when they come home, uh, they have reading with their curriculum. So we do that. And with my daughter having ADHD, she has to read aloud to me when she reads or she doesn't comprehend. And I do a lot of read alouds also. 
which I'm going to put up a video um, of our read alouds every month as, as we get new ones. I think it, it, I would love to see videos about other people's read alouds, so I think, you know, that would be good um, for me to video also. So, no, we don't have a spe specified reading time. Uh, eight, do you have goals for the summer? Um, no, we really, I really don't. I mean, not as far as homeschooling is concerned. As far as m me having goals, I want to clean the house. I want to get organized. I want to can. I want to um, put meals in the freezer for when I work nights and the kids can just, I can not pop something in the crock pot and they can have something to eat during the uh, evening while I'm at work. Um, other than that, it's just trying to get organized for the next school year. Nine, what is your favorite part of summer? My favorite, my personal favorite part of summer is when the kids come home and we start homeschooling again. Uh, by that time, the house is cleaned up and organized and I'm ready to start homeschooling again. Um, I actually hate when we stop homeschooling. I just, I love it. I love homeschooling. So my favorite part is when they come home and we start schooling again. 10, bedtimes. Do they exist? And what about letting them sleep in? Okay. This is where we differ from a lot of homeschooling families. I work nights. And my kids can't sleep until I get home. So, um, we don't have specified bedtimes. They usually go to school when I get home. I mean, go to bed when I get home. That's usually... It varies anywhere from 11 o'clock at night till 2 in the morning. And they usually sleep as long as I do. Um, so, usually if I've, slept, if I've worked till 2, usually we sleep till 11 and uh, get up then. But, um, and especially during the summer, we definitely don't have specified sleep times. When I'm off, usually we try to get in bed at 10.30 at night, 10.30, 11 o'clock, and then we sleep till like 9 and get up and do the chicken chores and, and get breakfast done and start school. But um, I do let them sleep in. If they're we're not schooling, I let them sleep as long as they want. On the weekends, I let them sleep as long as they want. Um, I feel it's very important for them to get a lot of sleep time and um but i mean if they tried to sleep till one or two in the afternoon which my teenager probably would i'd get them up way before that you know the latest i'll let them sleep is probably 11. but anyway um that's all for the questions if you would like to um do a video like ours like mine you don't have to be in the virtual homeschool co-op you can do a video i think it would be great or if not, you can, if you don't do videos, but you do homeschool, you can answer the 10 questions um, in the comments below. Okay, and if you are a homeschooler, you need to uh, join the home, uh, virtual homeschool co-op because it's really neat and um, it is fun to, to get to know other homeschoolers and the way that they homeschool. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.